Water on the earth is always in flux and is always moving. Only a small percentage of the total water on earth is used by humans and plants. Most of this water is either being stored or flowing from one location to the next. We can start by looking at the clouds. The clouds release their water in the form of precipitation, which is rain, snow, or hail. This water finds its way into rivers, streams, and lakes in the form of runoff. There's also infiltration that occurs in which water finds its way into underground areas. Plants also find a way to use this water by collecting it through their roots. The water that has infiltrated the ground percolates through the underground and creates a water storage underneath the ground. The percolated water together with the surface water that has been collected from the runoff makes its way into the oceans of the world. Although plants take up water from the soil and use it for growth, they also lose water via a process called transpiration and water goes into the atmosphere that way. And the wind along with the heat from the sun heats up the water in the ocean and causes evaporation of a large percentage of the water which then condenses and form clouds. The clouds then release the water in the form of precipitation and the process just continues on again in a cycle.